Okay, welcome back everyone. What we're going to do today is take the grips off, switch the throttle cable, switch the throttle body over and start to take a look at the clutch. So these are our new grips. They're rather nice. Uh, we've got a new professional CNC aluminium throttle body to go on here. And then we're going to have a look at the clutch and see if we can unseize the gearbox situation. So yeah, let's see. So what we've got with us today is two of the new grips. So that one of them will go on this side and the other one will go on this side to take these old ones off. Uh, we do have a new throttle body on this side, but unfortunately I was a victim of an Amazon scam, a swindle, a mis misread of the description really. It was my fault. Um, but this is for a mini motor. You can only fit about three, maybe four fingers on there. When you put your whole hand around it, your hand's falling off the side. They're absolutely tiny. Like this is the size of the grip compared to a new grip, you know? It's, yeah. So we've got the new ones here. We'll be putting those on. And then just to be doubly safe, so the same thing doesn't happen this time, I've got this nice little universal throttle body, which would be nice and sweet and sleek, and it sort of, you know, keeps in theme with that orange sunset golden color that's going on. Um, and just in case it does work, spend a little bit more money on a CNC aluminum scrambler throttle body that you can adjust the tension on. Um, so I think that will look really quite the bollocks on there. And a nice reflective silver aluminium braided throttle cable. So we're going to get all of that whacked on and then we're going to take a look at that clutch. Let's go. It appears we have relatively instantly ran into a little problem. It's nothing too major, but just in case you guys at home run into this, it's not a problem per se, it's just a preference to get dealt with. So in taking off this old grip from here, what we have actually just found is, yeah, you can see it. there's rust on here, okay, uh, as you've seen, I've done a little bit of work to it already, but it's not very much to it, so chances are there's going to be rust on this, okay, these bars are getting replaced at some point, but just for the time being, say, what we're going to do is take a nice little bit of our sack paper over here, and a nice little bit And that's the problem I'm having with this right now. So what I think I'm going to do is front hook this. And 
on the channel in here that I was just showing you, I'm going to take a small little file to it and I'm going to file a tiny little camber corner on that I reckon, just so that that cable doesn't have to come out to 90 degrees and then go, it can sort of come out and curve round, because that's what the cable wants to do, cables aren't designed to turn on sharp angles, they're designed to curve round corners. into the clutch cover. So that means taking all of that casing down there off and see why we have this problem where this um, gear lever will not move like it does this but it doesn't let you change gears. It's really annoying even with the clutch in, it won't let you change gears. See? Clutch in. Just doesn't do anything. So I don't know if we need to go get a new gearbox for this, I don't know if the actual gear lever isn't connected to the little shaft that tells the gears to change, um, I don't know if the clutch plates have seized, I highly doubt the clutch plates have seized because there is a fair old amount of pressure against this, a nice amount for a clutch, So, but they still could have seized together and we're moving the entire basket as one instead of, you know, but hey, we're not going to know until we tear it apart, so let's stop the theorising and get to it, shall we? struggling with at the moment is this clutch slash gearbox casing. Um, I'll show you what's going on down here. Basically, we've got to remove the screws around here to be able to take this entire case off to see the clutch and the entire gearbox behind this. But what's happened so far is we've removed one, two, three, four, 
three screws, and all three of them have snapped because they're too old. Um, this screw down here, as you can see because it's shiny, has decided it's going to round itself off. And two screws in there, just see one there hiding, and another one is just there. See? Um, they're impossible to get to with the impact without taking any rear brake. So this rear brake is spring loaded onto the back of this foot back. So now we need to take the foot back off to get the rear brake off to access the screws. So, regardless, that one has to come off in order to get to those two screws. Now, if they come out when well, hey, they snap, it's a full day, and the only other option they do what this screw does, and they round up, which then means I have to drill the out and drill the head out. And that's what I had to do on this side to be able to view the points. Basically, if someone were to walk in here now and go, oh mate, you know, how's the bike going? How's the work you're doing to it today going? My answer would be, fucking shit. So, yeah, I thought this would be nice and easy today. I was like, oh, no worries, let's change the throttle cable over and just get the clutch case off so I can see what's going on, get a visual diagnosis, but no, no, it's never that simple. So now I'm left with this, a bunch of mess, half a gallon of monster left. times like this that make me wish I never quit smoking. <laughs> anyway, let's get back to it. So I've now had to change my shirt over because the one I was wearing was a Kayo really nice shirt that I bought from the bike show show in London. And I'm about to have to crawl on my back underneath this bike to drill the heads off of every single bolt holding the clutch case on because they've all rounded off and I am not getting myself kind of annoyed in that. So I'm in this. Let's get fucking it. to do is although some of them have snapped as you can see we have managed to successfully separate these two plates and this is the oil that's coming out of there and you can see it's coming out from underneath which means we're going to need to clean the chassis afterwards but however for the time being this is working quite nicely so what we need to really try and do, I will show you, is this big old screwdriver. Just about nicely fits in there, fit in there, get a little twist. So what we're gonna do now is try and put this case in.
pick these up. They are now covered in oil. And I think we may have successfully found that problem. Let me just uh, put the mic on the back so you can hear me properly. Alright, so have a little look. Oh, my knees are hurting. Have a little look at this. That's the clutch. And this is all of the gearing system. Look at all the fluff going on back there, all the rust. That's just that section is just gunk. It's just gunk everywhere in here. Gunk everywhere. Let's see if I can shine a little light on it for you. Look at it. It's just absolutely filthy. So you can see as well I snapped off screws holding the plate on. It's no wonder why. So technically So yeah, um basically what's gone on What's gone on here, ladies and gentlemen? It's fucked. 